Hey guys, another story, another day. Well, in our story so far, after years of silence, God has started doing stuff. He sent his angel Gabriel to speak to people. He filled people with the Holy Spirit and they what's called prophesied. They spoke for God about things that were gonna happen in the future. It was an amazing time. It was all happening and well, Elizabeth and Zechariah, they were old, very old, and they were about to have chill a child. And everyone had thought Elizabeth was barren, she couldn't have children. And well, you have your child, and back then after eight days, they would go through a ceremony and they would be named. And this is where our story starts today. It starts when Elizabeth is about to have her child. And it starts with this. When it was time for Elizabeth's baby to be born, she had a son. And all her neighbors, all her relatives, all her family, all her friends, they were so happy for her. They rejoiced with her at the great mercy that God had shown her. And when John, when her son, was eight days old. Here's Elizabeth here, long hair here. She's holding her son here. Well, we can't really see him well here. We can, holding him there. When he was eight days old, all her relatives and neighbors started to gather so that he could be named and go through a ceremony called circumcision. And uh, when all the people gathered, they were about to name him John. All these people here, they're about to name him. No, they weren't going to name him John. They were about to name him Zachariah after his daddy. When Elizabeth said, no, his name is John. And everyone all around was really confused. They thought there's no one called John in his family. They said that to her. There's no one in your family. None of your relatives has that name. And they began motioning for Zachariah to come. And they asked Zachariah, what's his name to be? You remember, Zachariah hadn't spoke since he'd seen the angel Gabriel. And uh, he couldn't speak. So he motioned for them to bring them a writing tablet. And on the writing tablet, he wrote here, his name is John. And all the people were amazed because when he'd said it, his mouth was open, his tongue was loose, he could speak again. And he started praising God, Zechariah did. He was so happy. But fear came over all their neighbors and all these things were talked about in the entire hill country of Judea. And all the people pondered them, wondering, what will this child turn out to be? For indeed the hand of God was with him in a special way. Then Zechariah stood up to prophesy, to speak for God. And he said, blessed is the God, the Lord God of Israel, for he has looked favorably on his people and rescued them. He has raised up a mighty rescuer for us in the house of his servant David, just as he spoke through the prophets long ago, through the mouth of the holy prophets that we would be rescued from our enemies and from the hands of those who hate us. He has shown mercy promised to our ancestors and has remembered his holy covenant with us. The oath that he swore to our father Abraham to grant us that we being rescued from the hands of our enemies might serve God without fear in holiness and righteousness before him all our days and you child will be called the prophet of the most high 
for you will go before the Lord to prepare his ways, to give knowledge of salvation to his people by the forgiveness of their sins, by the tender mercies of our God, the dawn from on high will visit us to give light to those who sit in darkness and in the shadow of death to guide our feet in the way of peace. The child grew and became strong in spirit and he was in the wilderness until the day he appeared publicly in Israel. Here's Zechariah speaking about his son and speaking about Jesus. How God had loved his people. How God had remembered his relationship with them and sent rescue. How God loves his people so much. He sent rescue. He sent ones to speak for him, to tell his people to turn back to him that his rescue had come, that Jesus had come, that John had come to prepare the way for Jesus, that God doesn't forget his people. This Christmas, if you feel forgotten, remember this story. Remember how God sent John to turn people back to him, how he sent his rescue, Jesus, for each one of us. If you want to know more of this story, go to Luke chapter 1 and from verse 57 to 80. Go and read it for yourself and see God working in the story of this child that was to be born, that was to turn people back to him and prepare the way for King Jesus. Thank you for listening.